Throughout history, cannabis has been prescribed, recommended, administered, and used. Cannabis was the superstar drug of the 19th century, making up one half of all medicine sold. From 1850 to 1937, U.S. pharmaceutical companies listed cannabis as the primary medicine for more than 100 diseases. The Compassionate Use Act, which became Proposition 215, was written by Dennis Perron and Dale Geringer. It was explicitly open-ended. It provided that it was designed to ensure that seriously ill Californians have the right to obtain and use marijuana for medical purposes where that medical use is deemed appropriate and has been recommended by a physician who has determined that the person's health would benefit for the use of marijuana in the treatment of cancer, anorexia, AIDS, chronic pain, spasticity, glaucoma, arthritis, migraine, and any other illness for which marijuana provides relief. This is the law in California. In August of 1999, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. The pain, I cannot even tell you the pain was like shooting comets that were in my breast to the point that my husband and I would find ourselves just holding each other till finally somebody put a joint to my mouth and told me I would be okay, that I would be okay. I'm gonna stand here proudly to say that if it wasn't for marijuana, if it wasn't for tincture, if it wasn't for the edibles, I have not lost one pound doing chemotherapy. Now those of you who know what sick is being like, when you're bent over and you're throwing up, and I want you to visually, I want you to feel the pain. So when you are voting, you are voting for a person that is there for my children, my children, my husband. When you are saving me, you are saving lives. Well, no sooner had Proposition 215 passed than Dan Lundgren convened a special emergency all zones meeting in Sacramento for district attorneys, sheriff, and police chiefs to lay out his approach to enforcement of Proposition 215. We think the narrowest interpretation is the most appropriate he told those of us in the room. Prosecute marijuana as vigorously as before. He advised us to arrest anyone in possession of marijuana and put the burden of proof on the defendants, require the tech doctors to testify in open court. In other words, Dan Lundgren showed no respect for the spirit of the law or the voters who passed it. And I think that was a big factor in the fast fact that he lost big in the governor's race. He couldn't even get 40% of the vote. But his narrow interpretation, his narrow interpretation of 215 still prevails in most district attorney's offices and county courthouses in California. My brothers and sisters, I encourage you to get involved. Grassroots advocacy must be your friend. Call your legislatures, write letters, send emails, attend hearings, vote. To all prisoners of consciousness in this war against cannabis and to the enduring spirit for the people everywhere who risk it all for the sick and for the dying and for the healing, I thank you. What kind of society can deny to its citizens such relief from their pain and suffering? Let us restore America to its standards of justice and freedom for all. Let us reschedule marijuana and make this herb available to anyone who can benefit for its wonderful, miraculous medical properties. Thank you. I would like to challenge America to open its mind 
and realize that not all things are black, simply black and white. Cannabis has medicinal value for many people. I challenge America to open its eyes and to see the, uh, see the people whose quality of life has improved vastly from medicinal cannabis. I challenge America to open its ears and to listen to the doctors and the medical professionals who are telling us that cannabis can be a safe and better alternative uh, to other prescription medications. I challenge America to open their mouths and speak out to their politicians and community leaders and enlighten them to the benefits of cannabis. I challenge America to open its heart and to set aside its prejudices and show compassion for those suffering and not stand in the way of the opportunity for them to have a better quality of life.